Hi everyone, it's Marta here. I am so happy to be back to you with my new project, the Color Journal. And this work was made uh, as part of Spread Your Wings Academy Vol 3 for uh, Fenever Creative Team. I hope you will enjoy it and let's start. I'm using a heavy white gesso to prepare my page so I can add mediums and anything I wish. Uh, I like to mix um, with the transparent gesso um, so I can still have my writing and it's not fully covered. I'm using uh, tissue paper and stamps from Fenavar as well. This technique is great for those people who are afraid of stamping and let's be honest, I'm one of those people. I'm not sure whether it's gonna work, whether I put it in the right place or it's dark enough. Um, so we can really control better how our stamping will look like. Uh, my next trick is my very favorite wooden bits from back of every canvas. When you buy a new canvas, you're gonna have those wooden bits, I think. Um, so it's a great uh, embellishment. I love it. I think you can add it to journals, uh, layouts, your canvases, even cards. So anywhere you wish. Um, it's a great way of adding extra interest and um, embellishment to your project. My next step is to add this face. This is my own drawing. I know it's not best, so please be kind. Uh, but it's my own and this is my very first face drawing so I thought rather than draw again in the journal I decided to make a copy of the one that I already did and I print I printed my face on the tissue paper so now I can easily add it to my journal uh, same way as stamping on the tissue paper. I think it's a great idea, especially for those who are not good at drawing or stamping. Just easy way uh, and it, it's interesting and it's nice. To stick my tissue paper, I'm using a gel medium. Um, the book I'm working in, it's an old book from charity shop. You can get great things in secondhand stores. Um, many times I was asked, how come your pages don't curl? Um, this is true. Uh, book pages are really thin. So what I do, I just glue two or three together. Uh, so in that way, uh, they're perfect to work on. I am keep on adding more of tissue paper, stamped tissue paper. Also, uh, if you will take a closer look, you will see that my book is upside down again. I don't know, it's a habit. This is how I usually do. Um, the Trust the Magic, it's, it's a stamp, uh, but I used only half, half of that stamp, only the part with the wording. And my next step is to add some color to my pages. Those are watercolors. I wouldn't have biggest experience in watercolors, but I like experimenting uh, and that's where the fun begins.
the illusion paints from Ranger. Firstly, I added uh, turquoise, and now I'm mixing it with some yellow delusions using my fingers again. I I like that way of working. Um, it's a great control of the color. I felt that there is a little bit too much color. I'm adding some heavy white gesso to make some shadows on the face. I'm adding some more gesso here and there to soften everything down a little and blend in. My next step is to outline all the lines uh, of the face to make it more visible. I'm using water brush. Uh, it's a great tool. It's a brush filled in with the water. So you don't have to dip in your brush in the in the jar with water. Pencil that I'm using, uh, those are ink tens. Um, they are very high pigment uh, pencils that you can dilute with water and wash them out. Uh, it's a great pencil to work with. Uh, I'm keep on drawing and coloring and adding shadows. Um, just have it in your mind. Uh, this is out of my comfort zone and it's a learning process for me as well to draw faces and color faces um, but it's a it's a great great experience I loved it I love it and I enjoyed it very much because it's something different to all my usual journals uh, I'm using uh, some washed watercolors to add some blushing to our pretty face. And this is charcoal set to outline my face and make some great shadows. I'm keep on outlining, drawing, coloring, adding shadows to make the face looking prettier. <laughs> uh, it's a fun process. Um, I like it. Uh, 
My next step is to add some stenciling. This is a Finavar stencil. Um, I will be using Delusion Paints once again. Basically, this is uh, probably part where you should have most fun <laughs> playing with your fingers and paint, getting your hands dirty. I I love this. And some Posca pen, white to make my eyes standing out more, and splashes, of course. Adding some more uh, gesso. I'm using uh, white gesso to create my circle. We're gonna try to have a bubble, bubble effect. Now I'm using uh, some black gesso as well. Smudge it a little bit inside your circle while the gesso is still wet. I am adding some white gesso uh, to color my bubbles. I decided that I need some more stenciling, uh, so I'm using black ink to add some some stencils. And here we have uh, our wooden bits, uh, which will work great as a title. I'm using 3D gel medium to stick them to my journal pages. Uh, the reason I'm using gel medium is gel medium is more flexible after drying, so you are sure that nothing will fall apart. Uh, sometimes I was using hot glue gun. It's great because it's drying fast, but uh, some pieces would not stay there uh, forever. Here it is, my finished journal. I hope you enjoyed it and grabbed some inspiration. Uh, there was loads uh, techniques, uh, so the tutorial was quite long. Um, I wish you be back. Uh, soon for more videos to come and Thank you so much for stopping by and I hope to hear from you. Bye. Bye